Forest Pack 7 adds several changes that make the reference mode much more useful. If you've not seen this feature before, it's accessed from the distribution rollout by selecting reference from the mode dropdown. In this mode, you can place any item on any number of selected objects. For non-mesh items, you can use an object's pivot point to place an item, but for meshes, you also have the option of treating each triangle as a separate marker, and it's this part that's been improved. In previous versions, a reference mode was able to put a single item smack in the center of a reference triangle, but in the new version, the position can be randomized. This is great if you're using a surface to lay out multiple items, but you want to break up the grid-like structure. Another new feature is the ability to specify the number of items to add per triangle. This mode works with randomization on, in which case their position is shuffled, or with randomization off, they're going to be placed at regular intervals. Another often requested feature was the ability to filter which triangles are used based on their material ID. In this example, the markers are using material IDs 1 to 5. But as you can see, I can choose which of them generates geometry simply by entering the IDs in the material ID box. For multiple IDs, just leave a space between them. For some cases, this can be a handy alternative to using Forest's UV surface scatter mode, which doesn't support limiting by material IDs.